Alrighty, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. It's nice to meet you. And if you're OG, then welcome back. It's nice to see you again. Thank you for the support. Um, today's video is going to be a real quick video. I'm going to talk about the... Mm, I'll say it's like the top things that I hate about post-pregnancy. So... There's a couple things that happen after you have a baby that um, I like absolutely hate and I'm going to put them, I'm going to talk about them in this video, but I'm also going to put pictures in so you can see what I'm talking about. Well, for some of them, I'm going to put pictures in. <laughs> anyway, my number one thing that I hate about postpartum or pregnancy, post birth, um, is eczema so with my first birth my first child I experienced um, after I gave birth to him like maybe like four or five months after I gave birth I ended up with these random itchy spots on my hands and they were they got to the point to where they were so sensitive that um, it hurt to wash dishes uh, I felt like I had to put lotion on every like 20 minutes. My skin was itching, it was burning, it was cracking. I didn't know what it was, then it went away. So for, it happened for like, I was experiencing those symptoms probably for like a month. Mm, might not been a month. It was probably like two weeks. And then it stopped and my hands went back to normal. So I figured maybe I was just having like an allergic reaction to something. Um, and then it came back again. And the, when it came back, it was worse to the point where my skin was like practically falling off. It was really weird. Um, so I ended up going to an urgent care center because I wanted to see, like see if they could give me something for it. And the lady was like, well, I'm just a, a, a like a general practitioner or whatever. Like I'm not a specialist, but what I'm looking at, it looks like eczema. She was like, you need to go and see your actual doctor, like your regular doctor, and have them look at it, and then they can tell you what to do. So, and I had always, like the whole time that I was like experiencing the itchiness, I was putting hydrocortisone on my hands, and it wasn't really helping at all. It was making my hands worse. So, and then I used tea tree oil that stopped the itching but it did not help with like the skin thing it was gross i don't know it it kind of made it worse because it was like more irritated because it was more dry i don't know long story short i went to see my doctor i showed her my hands and she was like it looks like you have eczema it looks like you've developed eczema this happens to a lot of women it's because like the hormones do weird things to your body um, and so she wrote me a referral to see a dermatologist. Now I'm going to say this. I never went to see the dermatologist because I moved and I still haven't went to see the dermatologist. Um, I just, I, she gave me a prescription for some steroid cream, um, to hold me over until I was able to like, you know, go through the whole process with the dermatologist. And, um, I'm still using, the, I still can use the steroid cream to this day, but I'm not, um, this is i'm not using the steroid cream anymore because i read an article um on how you can remedy your eczema so one of the remedies that they gave is raw coconut oil um, raw organic coconut oil and tea tree oil so if you mix them together um you don't even have to put a lot of tea tree oil um, but if you mix it together um it creates kind of like a like a paste and you can put it on your fingers and it does help. I am going to show you my hands. Well, I'm going to show you my hands right now. I put it on my hands a couple of days out of the, a couple of days, a couple of days. What the hell? A couple of times a day. Um, I put it on this morning once I got out the shower. You have to moisturize your skin like constantly with eczema. And this coconut oil 
since I've been using the coconut oil, my skin has looked completely different. It even was seeping onto the back of my the back of my palms. Like you can see the red irritated. It was because it was cracked and my skin was really falling off. So I've been doing this for about three days now and it's been doing wonders for my skin. So that's one of, you know, that's helping. But anyway, that's my number one issue with post-pregnancy. The second one is postpartum shedding. Uh, postpartum shedding is where your hair falls out. Unfortunately, I have not been blessed with a whole lot of edges to begin with. Um, I wasn't one of those people that has like a whole lot of baby hair um, around like the, the edge of my head. So my postpartum shedding didn't happen in the middle of my head. It happened in my edges. So like I legit have bald spots. Like, do you see? And this is, it happened, it happened in the same place last time too. Um, but my edges literally just kind of disappeared. So that's normal, but it's also really annoying because it makes me look like my hair starts all the way back here. I already have a big enough forehead. I don't need my edges to fall out. So, um, what I've been doing to combat that is castor oil. Castor oil will help your hair grow back. So I've been doing that. That shit's annoying. Like, baby, who want to walk around with no edges? And you can see my edges are just misplaced. Like, there's like a gap from where the edges I have are and where the edges that are missing fell out. It's not like they fall out in clumps. They, they kind of just disappear. <sighs> but it's annoying. Um, the third thing that I hate about post-pregnancy is your taste buds change. So when I was pregnant um, this time, I ate a lot of eggs, a whole, whole lot of eggs. I don't eat eggs. Um, if I do eat eggs, it's like an omelet, like a stuffed omelet with like chicken and lots of cheese and vegetables, peppers, onions, garlic. Like I'm like making it a whole thing. It's like this thick. I cannot eat an omelet anymore. I can't. Like your taste buds will change. The things that you used to like, you may not like anymore. The things that you may have liked during your pregnancy, you may not be able to stomach. Like I tried to eat eggs twice and both times I felt like I was going to throw up. Um, I'm not really like a fan of eggs, but when I cook my omelets, I usually smash. And this pregnancy, after eating the omelets, I felt like I was going to throw up. So, no. That's annoying. Um, for the fourth thing that I don't like is boob deflation. So, I felt like, at one point in time, I felt like my boobs got bigger and they they were bigger but now my daughter is almost three months old and I guess like my boobs kind of went back to normal and they only seem bigger when she needs to breastfeed and like my boobs are like starting to fill with milk but what I noticed is like I have a lot more space in my bra now so I feel like my boobs are starting to like get smaller my mom said that happened to her but I also think that has a lot to do with me working out because I know some people that had like smaller boobs than me before they got pregnant and they have like double D's now, but they're also like bigger now too. So I don't know, I guess to each his own, you know, every person is going to experience something different, but that's just like what I'm experiencing right now. And I was kind of annoyed with the boob thing because I finally, before I got pregnant, was finally able to get into like a higher B cup. And now I'm like in a lower B cup, which is annoying. But maybe it'll all even itself out later by the time I'm done breastfeeding. Cause I do intend to stop, but like when she's one, well, maybe before she gets teeth, because I don't know how people breastfeed kids with teeth. I feel like that hurts. Um, but yeah, those are the four things that I hate 
about post-pregnancy. So stay tuned for more videos. If you guys have any requests, definitely shoot them in the comments and let me know what you would like to see. And um, until next time.